Good textile buyers are able to distinguish instantly between wool or polyester or acrylic or acetate. You can do that by the burning characteristics and also by the smell. Can we find Okay, so your burning characteristic sheet right here. Yeah. When we're burning fabrics, we have to pay attention. The first thing that we look for is the way in which the fiber travels towards the flame. Watch what happens when I put the cotton. Oh wow! It went towards the flame, didn't it? It yeah. loved the flame because cotton's highly flammable and cellulosic. So it went towards the flame, so it doesn't shrink from the flame. Cotton, it burns. It burns instantly, and that's all it does. It doesn't melt, it doesn't form any kind of crust. It just simply burns. And what are you left with? You're left with a fine, feathery, gray ash. Okay, so this is wool. It's a very different reaction to cotton, because as we know, it doesn't have any cellulose, does it? No, okay, it's got protein like your hair. Okay, so what happens to it? Does it go towards the flame? No. No, it shrink. Look at it shrinking from the flame, curling up. It self extinguishes. Ooh. Smells like you're burning hair. And when you crush it, it has oh. that gritty <coughs> sort of oh. uh, cinder look to it. Yes, so we've moved now to the synthetic fibers, and they are what? Uh, um, Thermoplastic. Thermoplastic. It melts. Therm so they melt. So when they go towards the flame, they're not going to burst into flame, they're going to melt. So this is polyester, now watch. Moves directly away from, look at it, it just curls, curls up. Pretty cool, eh?